Uh, hi, I'm Craig Sylvie. I'm a producer mixer based in London. So uh, I was kind of like that weird kid who kind of knew from my teenage years that I wanted to get into music and I wanted to get into the production side things. And uh, I just kind of worked my way through uh, studios, cleaning toilets, you know, taking out the trash. And, uh, and then worked my way through, having to do, be lucky to work with uh, some great engineers like George Massenberg. And then I worked for Lucasfilm at Skywalker Sound and saw a lot of great, amazing producers and mixes go through there as well. A lot of like classical stuff and I got to learn like kind of like, how, like scoring for film and stuff like that, which was great. And then uh, I started a studio called Toast. It was in San Francisco, which uh, got a little bit of a following. And then uh, from there, somebody asked me to come over here to do a record into to the UK, and I um, came over and then never, never left. Basically, the UK and London specifically is, is such a such a great international city, and kind of like a real nice merge of different cultures: European, a little bit of American, a little bit of of African, Asian, every, everything, and, and that blend makes for some really interesting kind of musical connections. When I first approach a mix, my most important thing is to think about the emotional response of, of what is the intention of this, of this song. It's not really about, about uh, is the kick drum fat or punchy or, or is, it, is, it, you know, is the vocal bright and clear enough? It's more of like, what does it need to, to convey the, the message that the, that the production is trying to get across. Surprisingly enough, actually artists a lot of times, that's, that's how they think about mixes, or they're thinking about their song as a, an emotional response, not necessarily just like loud and punchy. So, so uh, for me, that works really well. Hopefully you're connecting on the same, same, same page. Like try and understand what they were trying to get across emotionally and, and then, and then uh, uh, approach it in my way of how I hear those emotions basically. There's a lot of advice to give. I guess my first comment would be learn the technical because you need, it's good to know the technical, but also don't let yourself get hung up by the technical. In the end of it, it's, it's a song that's about emotion and let that, let that be the, uh, the, the guiding force basically. The, the one thing I was just thinking about the other day is that I'm still learning still feel like there's more to learn and it only gets more fun. A lot of the challenges is, is it's a competitive market. There's a, there's a lot of people who are trying to do the same job as you. I think compared to, to when I came through, uh, it was more of a, a unknown job. Uh, like I, I think even I talk about how bands are, are way more knowledgeable about production than, they, than bands 20 years ago because Every every kid is has been on GarageBand now and and on their on their parents' iPad and learned the concept of that's the beginnings of production basically. So uh, whereas 20 years ago you'd have an artist who didn't know what a multi-track was or didn't know what a EQ was. Uh, so everybody kind of knows a little bit of that now. And so I think you find that well, it takes hard work. It takes and it takes dedication. And it takes like willing to like put in the serious hours. But I find that most people who, who really succeed in this industry are ones that are kind of, kind of almost willing to die for it, basically. Yeah.